The Rhine Plain of India, also known as the Indo-Gangetic Plain, is a fertile plain encompassing an area between the Indus River and the Ganga River. The plains of India are categorized in two ways. Based on regional characteristics, plains of River Indus, also known as Punjab Plains, Gangetic Plains, and plains of River Brahmaputra. On the basis of composition, the riverine plains of India are divided into the Bhabbar, Tarai, Bangar, and Khadar. The beginning of a river is called its source or headwaters. From its source, a river flows downhill creating the Bhabba region along the foot of the Shivaliks from the Indus to the Tista. The speed of the river is tracked and the maximum amount of sediment is deposited in this Piedmont area. Due to the porosity of the rocks, the streams disappear and flow underground. This region is not very suitable for agriculture. The Tarai lies to the south of the Bhabba and runs parallel to it. It is composed of comparatively finer alluvium and is covered by the forest. The underground streams of the Bhabba re-emerge on the surface and give birth to a marshy area. Most parts of the Tarai area are reclaimed for agriculture. Bangard is the largest part of the northern plain. The soil in this region is not renewed frequently. It is the old alluvial soil found in raised areas that are away from the river channels. It is not very fertile and contains calcareous deposits locally known as Kankar. The new alluvium called Khadar is found along river banks. The soil is often renewed due to frequent flooding. It is fertile and intensive agriculture is practiced here. Now let's take a quick look at the sequence. The Bhabbar, Tarai, Bangar and Khadar. That's all for the video. Thank you.